hey coders welcome back to another exciting tutorial in today's video we are going to dive into some interesting code that helps you customize your radio buttons using only html and css so let's get started as always we begin with the html structure we create an input element with the type attribute set to radio this creates a radio button. The name attribute is set to payment, which groups the radio buttons together. The ID attribute is set to card, so that the label can be associated with the radio button using the for attribute. Next, we create a label to be associated with the card radio input. To associate the label, with the radio button, we use the for attribute. We also set the checked attribute to check to set the card option as the default. Then we move on to the second radio button. Similar to the first radio button, we create another input element of the type radio. The name attribute is set to payment, so it belongs to the same group as the first radio button. The ID attribute is set to cache. Since the checked attribute is not present, the radio button will be deselected by default. Again, we create label element that serves as the label for cache radio button. Now coming to CSS, we first create a style sheet using style.css file. By creating style.css file, make sure that you have linked this style sheet. We target all the radio button inputs and set the display property to none. By doing this, we effectively hide the default appearance of all the radio buttons as well as we will be creating our own custom design. Now, let's style the labels associated with our radio buttons. We set the position to relative to ensure proper positioning of the other elements within the label. We define the color using a lovely shade of blue. For the font, we have chosen Poppins as the primary typeface. This gives our interface a modern touch. The cursor property is set to pointer to indicate interactivity when hovering over the labels. We use display inline flex to place the labels horizontally in the row and gap point it adds a small space between the labels content and the radio button. We apply a border with width of 3 pixels using the same blue color giving our labels a nice outline. Now, to round off the corners, we use border radius property, which we set 2.5 em, creating a sleek and modern appearance. We also add some padding to ensure comfortable spacing inside the labels. To create the circular shape next to the labels, we utilize the pseudo element before. We set its content to an empty string which will be used purely for styling purpose. By setting height and width to 2 em, we create a circular shape with a diameter of 2 em. Similar to the labels, we apply border of 3 pixels using blue color and a border radius of 50% to achieve a perfect circle. Now, things get interesting. We target the labels that immediately follow a checked radio button. When a radio button is checked, we change the background color of the label to our shade, blue shade. To ensure text visibility, we set the color to white. But before that, for the circular shape that appears when the radio button is checked, we modify the height and weight to create a smaller circle with a diameter of 1 em. The border property now has a thickness of 0.65 em, forming a neat border around the circle. Lastly, we set the background color to our blue shade, which provides a visual experience. Now is the time when we set the background color for the labels. When a radio button is checked, we change the background color 
to our shade of blue to ensure text visibility we change the color of the text to white and that's it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and found it informative if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel for more exciting tutorials as always the code will be available in the description below so feel free to grab the code and experiment with it until next time happy coding